how you are going to treat these patients what is the treatment of barter syndrome now treatment wise uh, there is no specific therapy available for barter syndrome in vast majority of these patients symptomatic management is needed so what is symptomatic management uh, you should in case of any crisis or dehydration these patients will require normal saline in few iv infusion you need to ensure adequate hydration in these patients and they will require potassium chloride supplementation orally lifelong how much potassium chloride to supplement you will have to uh, see it will vary from uh, on the variety of barter syndrome how severe it is and uh, what how the child is responding to it so that needs to be individualized for each each patient in addition uh, certain patients especially those having a very high prostaglandin e2 level they also benefit from prostaglandin inhibitors the second therapy which can be tried is indomethacin indomethacin is useful in a dose of 2 to 3 mg per kg body weight per day and it tends to produce some reso resolution it is a prostaglandin synthesis inhibitor and it has been found useful in some patients especially those having uh, very high levels of ege2 can ibuprofen be used ibuprofen can also be used but the dose will be about 20 to 30 so 10 times that dose 10 20 to 30 mg per kg per day endomethacin is the one which is preferred and uh, the typical side effects of non steroid and anti inflammatory drugs like gi side effect peptic ulcer etc renal dysfunction th those things will always be there when you are using these drugs and in certain patients in some patients some indian textbooks say that uh, there is a benefit of use of either ace inhibitors or the use of potassium sparing diuretics in some individuals they can be tried but in general the management is primarily supportive